Hi friends, welcome back. Today's topic is three phase PWM inverter. So in this circuit diagram will be same. A voltage source, a capacitor, then six switching desires S1, D1. S2, D2, S3, D3, S4, D4, S5, D5, S6, D6. Okay, and load is connected in these three phases. Let it is R plus R minus, this is Y plus Y minus B plus B minus. Okay, so there are eight possibilities. 0 0 0 0 0 1 like this 8 possibilities will be there ok now how to find 0 0 0 is operating or 1 1 1 is operating like this so in this we will choose 3 modulating signal displaced 120 degree mod R modulating signal for R modulating signal Y modulating signal B and it is displaced 120 degree now if we want V R Y so we have to take only modulating signal R and modulating signal Y. No need to take modulating signal B. Okay. So signal will be like this. Uh, carrier signal. Like this. like this okay now <coughs> first of all we have to draw mod r signal let it is sin omega t okay so like this take and y y is displaced how much 120 degree so it is displaced 120 degree let uh, 120 be here ok so like this ok like this we will draw this is mod R and it is mod Y now we have to draw V R Y V R one. So we'll get like this. Okay, we will get waveform like this. So in this way we can find line voltages. Okay? In a similar way we can find V, Y, B, V, B, R. Okay? Now what is line voltage peak? That is peak value of fundamental 
फंडामेंटल लाइन वोल्टेज ओके सो इट इज म्यू ए और एम ए रूट थ्री वी एस बाय टू ओके सो इफ म्यू ए इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू वन इन दिस रीजन लीनियर मॉड्यूलेशन विल बी देयर एंड वी एल वन एल वन आर एम एस आर एम एस इज म्यू ए रूट थ्री वी एस बाय टू बाय हाउ मच रूट टू सो दिस इज पॉइंट सिक्स वन म्यू ए वी एस ओके सो इट इज वी एल आर एम एस नॉ सी इन स्क्वायर वेव मोड वन एटी डिग्री मोड वी आर वाई दैट इज वी आर इट्स पीक वैल्यू इज फोर वी एस बाय एन पाय साइन एन पाय बाय थ्री हेयर एन इज वन सो इट विल बिकम फोर वी एस बाय पाय साइन पाय बाय टू इज रूट थ्री बाय टू सो इट इज वी एल वन आर एम एस इज आर एम एस इज टू रूट टू सो इट विल बिकम रूट सिक्स बाय पाय वी एस दैट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सेवन एट वी एस ओके नाउ सी द ग्राफ बिटवीन वी ओ वन बाय वी एस and amplitude modulation v1 by vs and mu a so up to point point 61 point 61 linear modulation is there okay and up to point 78 over modulation will be there over modulation will be there Point six one to point seven eight more more over modulation will be there in this region over modulation and here linear modulation. Now after this point seven eight square wave mode is preferable. Okay, up to this region PWA mode and after this square wave mode is used. now we will see a terminology frequency modulation index frequency modulation index it is denoted by mu f or mf mf okay so mu f is fc by fm frequency of carrier carrier signal upon frequency of modulating signal Here, F M is equal to F one, F naught. Okay, what is the utility of mu f? Mu f decides the harmonic spectrum. Mu f decides the harmonic spectrum. Okay, n is equal to j mu f plus minus k. If j is equal to one three five, then k's value is zero two four six, and if j value is two four six eight, then k value is one three five like this. So mu f here must be must be Odd integer and multiple of three. So this should be the condition that follows always. If j is equal to one, let's see. If j is equal to one, this is first side band. 
frequency if j is equal to 1 first sideband frequency now so n is equal to in this expression put j is equal to 1 so mu f plus minus k so n is equal to what mu f mu f plus minus 2 mu f plus minus 4 like this therefore fn what nf1 fn is nf1 so if n is mu f so fn is mu f f1 f1 and mu f is mu f is fc by fm to f1 and fm is equal to f1 so it is cancelled so fn is fc okay in a similar way if mu f plus minus 2 will be there so what will be the fn fn will be fc plus minus 2 f1 okay now for j is equal to 2 that is second sideband frequency second sideband frequency n is equal to j is equal to 2 so 2 mu f plus minus k so here mu f k is equal to 0 mu f k is equal to 1 mu f plus minus 1 like this so fn in this case is 2 fc 2 fc plus minus f1 we can find this by this way only okay put the value of mu f we can find this now c harmonic spectrum if vl1 by vs and here fn if for frequency f1 is equal to 50 hertz this will be the magnitude for fc magnitude will be this like this this much so at frequ higher frequency harmonics will be less now see by increasing the fc we can increase the frequency of predominant harmonics so this improves this improves the waveform of current and reduces what filtering requirement requirement so in pwm inverter the device is switched at which frequency the device is switched at carrier frequency okay in pwm the device is switched at carrier frequency but as the carrier frequency increases the switching losses also increases okay this is the disadvantage disadvantage is what as carrier frequency increases switching losses also increases to reduce switching losses we will use resonant converters okay now in next next lecture we will see csi current source inverter thank you